Are you still awake? I was on my way to bed and then something told me to put on my coat and walk over and check on you. I hope you don't... <coughs> How long have you been like this? I really don't feel well at all. Right. I'm going now to fetch Dr Clark. Oh, no, it's too late. It's too late. And I'll be back as soon as I can. No fuss, please. Try and drink. I'll send your maid up with some tea and some more water. <coughs> she was a bit ill this morning, but I thought it was just influenza. No, this was never flu. Looks like bronchitis. But there is a lot of flu about, and my nurses are run off their feet. I won't be able to spare I can anyone. do whatever needs to be done. But she'll need proper supervision. Otherwise, there's a real danger it could turn into pneumonia. We'll have to hire someone tomorrow. No, there's no need I can manage. There'll be no let-up. I know. What's the treatment? Inhalants, really. I'll bring some in the morning. The main thing is to keep her temperature down and to stop pneumonia taking hold. <coughs> But are you certain? <coughs> there must be something we can do. There really isn't. I can manage very easily with help from the servants. We just have to stop it turning into pneumonia. That's the real danger. It seems rather unfair to saddle you with it all. Why should you do it and not us? Because I'm a trained nurse. Why is the food so disgusting? You suddenly... She doesn't know what she's saying. I wouldn't be too sure. The only thing she puts in my mouth is, mouth is absolutely disgusting. Well, perhaps we'd better get out of your way. That's all I ask. I'll ring up if there's any change. Well, tonight there can be no let-up. You mustn't sleep. You must not let her temperature get higher. I want another nurse. I insist. This, this one talks too much. She's like a drunken vicar. <sighs> the family took me in and kept me close when my link with them went gone. I owe them a great deal. If you insist. I'll look in later. Ring at the slightest change. <laughs> Does no one care whether I live or die? There, there. <laughs> this will make you feel better. Mm? Compared to what? That's such good news. If you really are hungry. Well, I'm, I'm not ravenous, but I, I wouldn't mind a piece of toast. I'll ask straight away. Well, can't you ring? Well, really. Dr Clarkson, when you go, would you please take that mad woman with you? That mad woman has refused to leave your side for the last two days and two nights, and she has not slept nor eaten since you were taken ill. But there were, there were nurses here. No, I remember a nurse wiping my brow. She was that nurse, Lady Grantham. What about Cora and Mary? They offered, but Mrs Crawley felt that she had more knowledge than they. Is that his ring of truth? I've asked them to bring up some toast and tea. And now that Lady Grantham's a little better, it's time you had a break. I might go home and... Have a bath. Shall I come back later? We, oh, yeah. yes, dear, that would be very kind. Good. I can stay all evening. Perhaps we can play cards. You'll be rewarded in heaven. The sooner the better. <laughs>